The stock cock of the loft is Wart Gout NL9800364798. This cock and some other youngsters were delivered by Mr. Kuz Ackermans. People in Holland often say, the good ones aren't brought to your door, you have to get them by yourself. This obviously wasn't the case here. Zwart Goud's usual partner was NL2 the O2. This ace pair produced the following aces. Klein Jade, NL11 First International Barcelona 2014, 38th and P.O. Brive 2014. Sylvie, NL9 Third International Barcelona 2014, 48th National Marseille 2011, and 61st National Orange 2011. Romy, NL10 Third National Orange 2013, Third National Bergerac 2013, Third and P.O. Brive 2014, Sixth and P.O. Aurillac 2012 and 18th National St. Vincent 2013. Orion, NL1-111-0401. 6th National Bergerac 2004, 7th National St. Vincent 2006, 48th National Ruffick 2002, 51st National Ruffick 2006, and 79th National Ruffick 2005. Safir, NL1-111-0402. 1st National Ruffick 2003, 6th and P.O. Brive 2004, 24th National Bergerac 2004, and 29th and P.O. Brive 2003. The Gelemas Pigeons Father and son have been at the top of overnight long-distance racing since the 90s. Their typical Gelema Pigeon has added a new dimension to the modern long-distance pigeon. The small size, soft feathers and closed vent bones characterize this type of pigeon. In order to get the ideal type, he uses pigeons which top the prize lists for inbreeding. That is how he tries to hold on to quality. Such a star pigeon is then paired to its own child. The hen Safir NL1111402 was for example paired to her own son NL3178597 Barabbas, which won a 14th National St. Vincent in 2006. This pair bred the Entealed Safir NL4 136-93-37. This cock, when paired to a hen of Nico Vokens, jackpot cross hat talent, bred Romy, first international ace bird Europa Cup 2014. The unsurpassed fund line of the Gelema family is built up with pigeons from Peter Birda. He flew strongly on all flights, but on further flights with difficult conditions he was unbeatable. He made great results in difficult races from Bergerac, which in Friesland is well over 1,000 kilometers. These are the pigeons that form the basis of the Gelema's breed. One day, Gel received a basket full of youngsters, including five youngsters that he had to keep for breeding. Out of these pigeons came top pigeons. The kind beard ahead was a mix of strong Belgian pigeons such as Van Breuwen, Catrice, but also Turnier pigeons. When father and son Gelema started focusing on the extreme long distance, more endurance was crossed in the Birda pigeon. Gel Gelema can look back on another excellent racing season in 2021. He has achieved the top in the national results of Barcelona and Perpignan, followed by a formidable follow-up, and Gel managed to once again renew his championships with the Zlu. Noteworthy is the win of Altmix Sudi Pigeons in the final of the Algarve Golden Race with a 50% Gelema Pigeon. Before we introduce to you the champions of season 2021, we would like to present a few exploits of 2021. Championships 2021 Zlu 5th Emperor Long Distance 5th Pyrenean Cup 5th Ace Pigeon Champion Overall Zlu Races Fanduni 2000 First Pigeon Champion 2nd Pigeon Champion Gel Gelema more than proved himself on the classic originating from the Catalan capital. He once again brought in a well-considered group, this time consisting out of 52 pigeons, basketed with only one goal in mind, international and national success. After his national victories, in 2014 with Klein Jade and in 2020 with Silk, Gel shined as he always does. 
with a 6th and 9th national, against 4,838 pigeons and 24 pigeons in the national results, gel more than met the massive expectations. The 6th national, Naud, descendant upon the loft in Nijverdal at 10.07 a.m., 982 mpm, followed by the 9th national, Claire, who reached her home at 10.23 a.m., 969 mpm. After that, it was a time of pure enjoyment in Nijverdal with regular arrivals. Gel wins the 6th National Barcelona against 4,848 pigeons with the NL 17 173 22 64, Naud. During the challenging Barcelona 2020 Naud had already won a 24th National. His arrival at 8.44 p.m. says a lot about the circumstances the pigeons had to deal with last year. Naud is in the possession of an excellent set of genes. His grandmother NL15 132.0979, Silk won in 2020 a first national Barcelona. One of the grandfathers of Naud, the NL12 110.84.30, MG430, was the father of Silk. Preparation Gel 2 had found it more difficult to get his pigeons in peak form for Barcelona compared to previous years. There was first of all the uncertainty as to whether the Barcelona Classic would actually take place or not, due to Corona. The pigeons were darkened this year, and the pigeons were brooding eggs before Barcelona, for the second time this year. Silk was basketed with a youngster of nine days old. In the lead-up to the race, the pigeons had plenty to eat. Gel would top up their feeding trays up to four times a day, so that the pigeons could build up their energy reserves. Gel would go around his loft pretty much every hour of the day, because he was afraid that some of his pigeons would start a fight, and that could have an impact on his team for Barcelona. The racing birds did another training flight the week before the day of basketing. When handing over his pigeons to the National Basking Club and Bourne, where they were basketed by the recently founded Bourne Barcelona Club, the pigeon felt really good. They had the right amount of muscle tension and the fancier had plenty of confidence in his team. Feeding Gel give them everything they want. The last five to six days before basketing they are fed three times a day. We give them a mixture of three kinds together with a more fat containing garvo high energy. They can eat as much they want. What's left goes to the breeders or the youngsters. Additives Not at all. However, Different kinds of grit and minerals are important in my opinion. It's important to pay attention to the smallest detail when feeding. For example we always give the hen a separate pot with food before basketing. Why? Because by the time the hen leaves her nest, the cocks already ate the best things. Medication We give them the obligatory vaccination against paramyxo and a vaccination against paratyphus because they believe. It is good for the general immunity. We give something against worms in April and they are treated against louses two weeks later. Three weeks before the first long-distance race they get a four-day cure against trichomonas. And that's all. For trichomonas and ornithosis. Not at all. I'm sure, using medication during the racing season is very bad for the condition. I investigated some pigeons upon arrival. Some of them had trichomonas but flew a good result anyway. Ornithosis is a matter of having good lofts or not. Thank you for watching. Until next time.